hello. In this example video, I will use timer zero interrupt to create a timing delay, blinking and output LED. The timing delay will be created in the interrupt service routine. It's very fast, and it use a minimum amount of the CPU cycles. The output is just like the previous example. However this method is more effective, since the main program loop doesn't process this task. Hence, the main program can have the time to execute other tasks. So now let's start writing C code using XC8 compiler, in this IDE. I include the xc.h header file. That's the most important. Next, it's the configuration bits that store in the config.h header file. The output LED connects to RB0. This variable counts the timing ticks every times the interrupt occurs. In main function, it contains the I.O. port setting, timer setting, and the interrupt configuration. It's necessary to write it correctly, before we can process the interrupt service routine, ISR. First, I clear port BIO data. Then I need to set RB0 pin to output direction by clearing TRISB0 bit of TRISB register. From here it's the timer 0 setting. I select the internal instruction cycle clock as the timer input clock source. The TMR0 clock source select bit, T0CS must be clear. Prescaler is assigned to timer 0 module. So the prescaler assignment bit, PSA must be clear. I select the prescaler of 1 by 256. The prescaler rate select bits, PS will be set to 7. Now I turn on timer 0 interrupt of the interrupt control register. TMR 0 overflow interrupt enable bit, T0 IE must be set. Now we turn on global interrupt enable bit, GIE, to turn on all interrupts source, including the timer 0. We must assign 1 to GIE. We will need to clear the TMR 0 overflow interrupt flag bit. T0IF, to clear its flag first. Finally we will need to clear the TMR0 register. Main program stays in this while loop. Now we write the interrupt service routine, ISR for TMR0 overflow interrupt here. However, 
PIC 16 F877A has only one interrupt vector, locates at the address 0x04. We need to test the TMR0 overflow interrupt flag, and decide what to do. We will increase this counting variable that make a 10 milliseconds timing tick. Finally we will need to clear its interrupt flag. If the CNT variable exceed 50, it reaches 500 milliseconds duration. So the output LED will toggle. Finally this variable must be clear again. I assume that there is no error. And I build this project to generate a hex file, that's the microcontroller's firmware. Now it's successful. We will move the program testing. We test it in this simulator. However its toggle duration, created by timer 0 overflow interrupt is around 600 milliseconds. So the frequency is lower than 1 Hz. Now we will program its hex file to the target PIC16F877A microcontroller, using this IDE again. Now it's completed without any problem. We will see the program running on breadboard. As we can see, the program is running as expected. The supply voltage is plus 5 volts, connects with USB bus. Its clock frequency is 20 MHz.